Hey guys, I'm Galactic from Galactic's Tutorials. In this video, I'm going to review and show you guys how to use the Elgato Game Capture Card. Now, as of December 2012, the Elgato Game Capture Card can record in 1080p now. It can record on both the Xbox and the PlayStation. Um, it is both compatible for Mac and Windows users. So um, it's a lot better than the HD PVR in that aspect because I'm pretty sure the HD PVR is uh, default Windows only. Um, you actually need an HDMI uh, cable or an HDMI compatible TV to use the Elgato Game Capture Card. That's one of the uh, downsides of it. Uh, you also need a computer with either um, uh, Apple operating system or um, Windows 7 or above. Yeah, it does not work with Windows XP which is the uh, downside. Um, but yeah, it's it's very good. It's a lot better than the HD PVR in uh, uh, different aspects. It is a lot more expensive, um, but, but it's uh, really, it's only about like $20 more expensive. It's not that much. Uh, it comes fully with all the cables that you need with it, and it comes with a little instruction manual. Uh, I'm pretty sure for the HD PVR, you have to buy a couple extra cables, so that's nice that it comes with everything. Um, but yeah, I think I'm going to show you guys how to use it now. Okay, so uh, I'm hooking up. I'm hooking it up to my Xbox right now. Um, it works for the PS3 in the same aspect, but yeah, as you can see right over um, to the right, there's the HDMI plug plugged into the Xbox. Now we're gonna pull this out right over here, and we're going to replace it with the. Um, uh, HDMI cable from the Elgato uh, game capture card and put it in there. Uh, it comes with the Elgato game capture card, so you don't need to buy another one. Then you're going to take the Elgato. Uh, you're going to take the HDMI cable that you just plugged into your Xbox, and you're going to plug it into your Elgato capture card. But make sure you plug it into the HDMI in part. You don't want to uh, plug it into the HDMI out because um, that's uh, another. Uh, HDMI cable goes. We're actually using two of them, uh, but uh, you only really, you already have one for your TV, but uh, El the Elgato uh, already gives you one. Anyway, so we're going to take the HDMI plug that comes, uh, that is directly connected to your TV, and we're going to plug it into the HDMI out. Uh, this is just so that you can like actually see your TV while you're recording, uh, and it's very, it's a very nice feature, and you know, uh, but uh, the the cable is a bit uh, snug. Uh, you really have to push it in a bit, but don't really force it. Uh, yeah, here's my computer. You're going to have to have a computer in like a uh, ten foot radius. Yeah, here's the plug I'm using. It's the mini USB to USB cable. Um, it just goes right over where I just showed you with the USB. If you have to uh, go back and see it, but it, it's a really simple setup. There's nothing much to it. Just plug it into the Elgato Game Capture and into your computer. And I'm going to go into the tutorial on the computer now. Okay, so the link in the description. All I have to do is download the software. As I said, it's for Windows and Mac, but uh, only uh, above Windows 7. Um, the download process is really simple. Uh, I don't really have anything else to say on that. Uh, I'm not recording on my Windows because I just prefer Mac over Windows when recording. Uh, yeah, the, the downloading process is pretty much the same for both. Uh, it's really self-explanatory, so I don't even have to really show you the Windows. Uh, it's basically just um, agreeing to the terms and conditions. There's no malware, there's no nothing. It's virus-free and it works just perfectly. Uh, but yeah, so basically if you're on a Mac, you can just drag it into your applications folder. It's really simple. There's literally nothing to it, so I'm not even going to go into detail over here. But yeah, open it once you've downloaded it, and uh, you just have to agree to different terms of uses, uh, just legal stuff. And uh, now I'm going to plug in my game capture card to my computer so I can uh, show you how it works. So yeah, um, when you plug it in, it actually shows uh, you it live. Um, it's pretty nice. Um, if you want, you can change the quality. Uh, by default, it's 720p, and it's not the best quality. Uh, you can change it to 1080p, but I just prefer 720p over it because my uh, uh, record, uh, my editing software, sorry, uh, works the best on that. But yeah, uh, I highly suggest changing the quality to the best. It uh, makes it look absolutely beautiful. Uh, 
regardless of 720 or 1080p. Uh, do not change the check marks unless you actually really know what you're doing. Uh, same thing. Same thing goes with the picture and audio. They're basically uh, great at what they are, the picture and audio and everything else. So I really suggest not changing anything else other than the quality of it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much it when it comes to settings. There's not much else you can really do in settings. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to show you guys how to um, actually talk and have your game capture card record your voice. So just click the Xbox Live Home button, go into Preferences. Uh, go into voice. Uh, this is from your microphone on your Xbox, like plugged into your controller. You can actually make commentary as you can see on the right. But yeah, just uh, click play through uh, both. It will play through the speakers, which will in turn go through the Elgato game capture card. And uh, it works really nicely, so just do that. And you can actually like uh, do live commentary. Or you can do the same thing with the, um, as you can see on the right, uh, but I just prefer talking to my headphones if I'm actually going to do live commentary. Now if you already have some uh, gameplay recorded, you can just easily go into theater mode and select a certain clip that you have saved up um, if you didn't have the Elgato capture card already. Uh, yeah, just start the film. Uh, it's pretty easy. That, that's a record button, by the way, if you didn't know. Um, yeah, uh, But you can actually add a Twitch TV account. Uh, it's pretty nice. You can live stream stuff. It, it's very helpful if you're a a uh, big YouTuber or something like that. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all I have to go to. Uh, if you don't know what theater mode is, um, uh, I'm sorry. It, it's it's pretty self-explanatory, so you're you're on your own. But uh, if you want some uh, uh, live gameplay, I'll leave the link in the description. Uh, but that's pretty much it. Uh, thanks for watching, and um, I'll see you next time, guys.